What's up, guys? Gamer Jam here, playing Clash Royale. Um, today I wanted to go over the Royal Recruits Challenge. I'm currently nine and one. This is actually my second try doing this, so hopefully I can pull out the 12 wins. Um, real quick, uh, just my thought on the Royal Recruits. They are a kill, guys. I don't know if you've tried this challenge already. If you have it, try to get the Royal Recruits every time. I would say it's almost about 80% win percentage with the Royal Recruits. Like it's insane how more likely you are to win with the Royal Recruits because they are so strong, um, especially at tournament level that they are a really big pain to deal with. So let's go right into battle, guys. Hopefully we can get uh, to 12 wins, open up a lightning chest, get 800 recruits, and that'll be like level 7, I think. Alright, um... I'm gonna go zappies here. Zappies, let's go, like I said, guys, Royal Guards. I'm gonna go here with the skeletons. And then. Let's go with the Ice Wizard. A little bit more defensive. And the Bandit um, won't do too much against my Royal Guards. So, um, I had all. Okay, wow, so I have an Elixir Pump as well. And I think he's going to have some sort of tank, a giant something, um, more than likely. I have a log, so it could be that he has a zap. Let's go here. Oh, okay, I got one goblin out of that. But um, the rest are going to mess me up pretty good. Take out the bandit there. Let's go miner. Um, a nice little change of pace right here. And I'm going to get a pretty good amount of damage off. Um... And then right here, guys, time to go Royal Recruits. Then I'm going to go Ice Wizard back here. Um, hopefully that freezes some of the mini. But look at the Royal Recruits, guys. Look at that. Look how strong they are. It's like insane. Look at that. So they took out the Giant Skeds and they're, they're going on the counter. The Bandit almost died from two Royal Recruits. Right there, the tower killed it. And just like that, we slaughtered that wave. Now he's forced to go with Fire Spirits. So I'm going to go Pump. And I'm basically just pumping for fun. I mean, I'm, I don't really have a tank or an expensive deck that I really need to pump for. Oh, okay, so I was able to get one. Okay, that wasn't bad. Let's go roll RG here. We cannot let our pump behave. If our pump survives, we are looking very, very good. We go there, now time to go to Zappies. Okay, so he's going to have a minion horde. Okay, okay, so that's going to be a little bit of trouble. The Zappies did do pretty well. I think the RG, yeah, was able to get one hit. I should have played the RG on the other side, honestly. Should get some chip damage on the other side, but hey, it's no big deal. Okay, um, so I want to play the Skarmy, so let's do it right here. Um, kill it before this. Oh, no. Look at that, guys. Well played. Well played. But, I mean, I do have... So much elixir coming now, it's gonna be hard for him to stop all of it. Uh, let's go here. Let's go here with the ice spirit. I should stop the means. It should stop the means. I'm almost guaranteed to stop the means. Let's go roll quick here. Let's go zappies. I mean, he has a giant skeleton. Um, hopefully, look at this, guys. It's. I mean, I have literally nothing for air except for the ice wizard. Let's go right there. And I think I should be good to go. Um, to take out this tower. Um, let's go over there. We have the minions come in. Put drop the royal recruits. Oh, okay. Look at that, guys. So they're gonna tank. I'm gonna take on the right side. Is done. Um, let's go here. He's gonna drop on the tower this time. Okay, so I was only able to get one. Um, but look at that, guys. Look at the army I have on the right. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have two zappies, the ice wizard, the royal recruits. Like I'm doing so good on the right side, and I take that win. Honestly, I won because he had nothing to stop the Royal Recruits. Like I said, it's insane how strong they are. So, nice win there. 10 and 1. Um, let's go ahead and open this lightning chest to see what I get from here. Um, some gold, minion horde, heal, and tornado is going to be our epic. I'm looking for a golem. So, I'm going to switch this until I find a golem, guys, hopefully. I don't care about anything but a golem. Poison's pretty good, but I want a golem. Balloon, come on, give me a golem. Oh, no golem, guys. It's alright. Let's go ahead, 10 and 1. Let's go into our next battle. 
Um, Royal Recruits, even though Barbarians are really, really strong against them, um, definitely going to go Miner. Those Royal uh, Hogs will get slaughtered by Royal Recruits, even though I could have gone in for the offensive, but I'm trying to play a little bit of defense. Um, let me see, I'm going to go Bats here. I'm going to go Bats, and then definitely going to go Magic Archer, because I want to get the most range possible, because range owns in draft challenges. Okay, um... Oh, looks like I have a little cheap cycle deck for now, so let's just go minor ship see what I can get out of this. Okay, so he's gonna put little goblins, get some little chip damage off. Let's go with some skeletons over here. Okay, and he's gonna have a three musketeers. So I'm gonna deal with it with my archer here plus my giant skeleton. I think that's a good way to deal with them over here. Um, right here, I'm in trouble a little bit. I'm gonna have to let the Musketeer target. And then I'm gonna go back. And then I'm gonna go Skeletons here. I have no other choice. And then I'm gonna hurry up and get the Miner over there. Um, and then I can do some pretty good damage on that one tower. Oh, he's gonna use a Poison, okay. So he obviously got me really, really good on the right side with the Royal Hogs. Um, I didn't have anything quick to counter for him. And the three muskies, I really don't have anything with the three muskies either. So I'll be put in a pretty tough spot. He's gonna go three muskies again. He knows that I really have nothing for him. He might even go three muskies on the same side. That could be a smart play for him. And he's gonna go barbarians. Okay, so I'm gonna go royal guards back here and let's just get a huge wave going. I just love the royal guards. Like, you just play them anywhere. And it's like, oh my god, look at the wave coming at you. Okay. Give me some nice, nice uh, log value. Here we are. And look at this push, guys. Look at this push we got. He's going to go, yeah, that was obvious. He's going to go with um, Three Musketeers. Man, I wish I didn't have the Royal Guards in that situation, so Three Musketeers would get slaughtered. So I'm the one that's going to get slaughtered here. Let's go here. Um, I, don't know. I mean, I think I can pull something off here. No, definitely not. Um, let's go here. Let's go with the log. Um, and I, wow, I defend that pretty well considering. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was actually really well considering everything. Okay, now he has a golem as well. So we're in trouble again. Um, let's go here. Let's go with the mega minion. Let's go with the royal guard. Royal recruits, I mean. Um, and then we'll just stay here. See what we can do. I think we'll be able to chip onto here. Let's go here. Magic archers. Let's log them. And I think yeah, but the I'm gonna be able to take them tower out. This magic archer is literally saving my life. Um, let's go here, and then we'll use the bats now to take out the golem, and then that'll that'll take it out right there. <coughs> Sorry guys, my commentating has been a little bit off. I've actually been really really distracted in this battle. This is a crazy battle right here. And the magic archer is literally saving my entire life right now. Go here. Look at that. Now I have the magic archer just behind the giant skeleton. Now let's put some more recruits there as well. And I think it's just going to be to spam. Let's just spam um, as many royal recruits as possible to be honest with you. Um, he's going to go here. I'm going to go log right here. I cannot let him take him out. And that's going to be GG. Good game. Good luck. So we played that really well towards the end. Just spamming royal recruits. Look how many I had. Oh my god, guys. It's just, they're such a kill. If you get them, you basically win. So we are 11 and 1. Um, take a screenshot. Um, just because. And let's go ahead and go for battle number 12. Win number 12. Battle number 13, technically. Um... I'll go with Skellies, just to keep a cheaper cycle. Ooh, um, let's go Poison. I always tend to like Poison better. I don't have anything for air, so Lava Hound could mess me up. Um, but I hate going against Giant Skeleton, so I have to play Giant Skeleton. And let's go. Infernal Dragon should do so much work. Infernal Dragon in draft challenges are a kill. Almost, almost always they're a kill. And I got a Flying Machine, so. And I have a... Oh, I forgot this guy's name, honestly. A Hunter. A hunter so I have tons for air so I'm not worried about that um, so let's go hunter back here probably to go hunter then go giant skeleton in front of the hunter and then go with my infernal dragon 
more than likely like that's the, the way I'm gonna go about this right now let's go here now let's go for a dragon I mean he could have a lightning I mean I don't think he has uh, much more than that but right here we're doing work and then I'm gonna go with the battle ram and look at that he's gonna do his fireball took out the infernal dragon um, he actually defended that really well towards the end wow so that sucked for me I'm gonna go skellies and that'll take out his um, musketeer in uh, two seconds yeah there it is musketeer is done okay so back to square one minute into the game no damage done on any of our towers what the role goes I'm just gonna try not to play the skeleton um, I felt like I just played it because it was in psycho at the time okay um, let's see he has a fireball I know that does he have much more I don't think so so let's go back here let's go with the battle in here oh man and look at the musketeer in a good spot I'm gonna go fly mission over here um, and that should take out the dark prince and take out the musketeer or the musketeer takes me out okay so even trade so again guys two ways for both of us two attacks where we don't get any damage off to the other tower but I think he's used more elixir than me so I'm gonna be able to have a little bit of advantage here okay so here's he's one he's risking it right here he's one with a lot of elixir um, I guess he thinks that'll help him out let's go here with the giant skeleton and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go battle ram on the other side oh and he had the royal recruits okay I forgot so this is gonna mess me up a little bit I mean I should be okay I'm still okay I mean, it didn't mess me up. Oh, the giant skeleton did it reach, guys? Did that reach? I don't think so. Right here, we're in big trouble. We're in big trouble on this right side, on this left side. Um, all the hogs, all the royal recruits. I have the flying machine trying to do as much work as possible, but it's guys. The royal recruits are a kill. I, like I've said a thousand times already, they are a kill. Flying machine gets wrecked. Um, let's put another flying machine here. This is going to have to be the attack, guys, that uh, gets me past the edge. The hunter is doing pretty well. I mean, I'm going to get barely any damage off. He has two sides that are really weak. I mean, I have two sides that are really weak. So uh, we're not looking too good here. The Lava Hound seems to be like the game changer uh, when it comes to attacking. All he needs to do is go on a Royal um, Hog like wave push, and I'm pretty much doomed. So let's go here, let's go back here. There it is, there's a the Royal Hog. I thought he was going on the other side. Um, he went on this side. So I think this is GG, yeah, he's gonna go Fireball and that's GG. So tough loss there. He had the better deck, because he had the guards, like I said. It's almost a guarantee win every time. And I should've probably gone Lava Hound instead of Giant Skenta, but like I said, I hate, I hate, I hate going against the Giant Skenta. So this is it guys, 11 and two challenge. Um, let's go with the Rascals, let's go with the Musketeer, and let's go with the Mega Minions. So a lot of range, uh, Lava Hound shouldn't do much work in this. If I can have a Golem, Giant, he's going to have the Royal Guards, which really sucks for me. Unless he gives them to me, but I doubt he gives them to me. Not a smart decision by him if he gives it to me, especially now in the 12th win. Yeah, he's not going to give it to me. He gave me a Battle Ram, he gave me Royal Hogs. Um... He gave me a lot of cards of the Royal Recruits counter. I keep saying Royal Guards, guys. I'm going to have to get used to the Royal uh, Recruits thing. Let's go here. That Poison is going to do pretty well. But I'm not going to be able to get any damage with the Battle Ram. Um, let's see what he comes at me now with. Um, okay, Lava Hound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go buy a Rascal right here. And I actually really like my deck. Yes, he has the Royal Recruits. But besides that, I really like my deck. Um, let's go here with a Mega Minion nice and early. Yeah, and then let's go Musketeer. I don't know if um, that'll reach. I wanted the Musketeer to hit the Archers, and I don't think I got that lucky. And then right here, my Goblins should be slaughtered. Oh, and here it goes, guys. I have not one defensive card here. What? Where are my defensive cards? Oh, man, I'm in trouble. I don't have any defensive cards right now. 
Come on, that's not fair. Not fair at all, dude. Those are gonna get slaughtered by the guards. He has the guards and the royal recruits, so um, I'm in big trouble here. Okay, so the barb was able to get a couple of hits off. I'm surprised he let that happen. I'm gonna go here with the poison, take off his pump, and um, we ended up getting pretty even because those barbarians got to the tower. I don't know how he let that happen. Seems like to me like he doesn't have any fireball or anything like that, which is what I was worried about. And now that he doesn't, I'm going to get like a huge wave and just build it up from the back. I mean, he hasn't used a fireball rocket lightning from by now. I don't think he has one. So we're just going to risk it all. Go here. Okay, that's fine. Let him go with that. Um, he has, okay, so he has a snowball. It's the most that he has. Um, let's go here with the battle ram. And then I need to poison that pump because, I, like I said, no pump can survive because then I'm in big trouble. I got a nice push going here. If I can go with the Royal Hog, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Royal Hog time. Let's see if I can do something out of here. He got rid of the Royal Recruits. There you go. There you go. Get desperate. Put the snowball. Now my barbarians, my goblins should do work. He's going to go with the Hunter. Um, the Hog Rider. Wasn't even able to get one hit off. Let's go with the musketeer here. Let's go there. Um, Hunter goes down. Archers are. Oh my God! Now I have the battle ram in play. Man, I'm. I've done really, really well here, and to adjust to the deck that he has. Let's go here. If the musketeer survives. I should be good. I should be good to go. Okay, so he's gonna keep going with the royal recruits, and I'm cool with that, guys. I'm cool with that. Um, he goes with the snowball. I'm going to just keep building up a bigger wave back here. The Musketeer is slaughtering him. Let's go with the Battle Ram for some defense. Push those archers back. He's probably going to go guards again. No, nope, he went with a Hunter. And I'm cool with that again. Like I said, the fact that he has no direct damage is going to cost him. I'm going to take him out here. It's just going to take me time. Go right here. Let's go right here. Okay, this, is, this could be it where he beats me. This could be where he beats me right here. Uh, no, he's not going to. And this is the push. This is the push that I need to win with. We're going to rush the battle ramp. The battle ramp. Get to the tower. That's what I'm talking about. And that's going to be GG. Good luck. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Took him out. Well played. Wow, guys. I won the challenge. This video is extremely long. But it's extremely worth it. 12 wins. Take a screenshot of that 12 win challenge right there. Let's go ahead. Roll 800 roll recruits. So hype. Let's open up this huge chest. 11,000 coins up to 500k, guys. Insane. Zappies. We're going to get a pump. We're going to get two flying machines. Three fireballs. 19 hog riders. 164 fire spirits. 29 battle rams. Oh, no, no legendary guys. And more royal recruits, 300 of them. And give me some, oh, and six X goes. So the chest wasn't that good. Got a lot of cards, a lot of gold. Um, let's upgrade the royal recruits now, guys. See how high we can get them. So that's level four. We're going to go level five. Let's keep going. Level six. Let's keep going. Level seven. I think, yeah, we can keep going. Level eight. And I think that might, oh, look at that. Look at that. Already tournament level. So I'm going to be instantly thinking of um, uh, decks with the Royal Recruits for some challenges because this card is insane. But that's going to be it for my video, guys. Sorry the video ran so long, almost 20 minutes, but it was well worth it. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to check my other Clash Royale videos for some great content, and I'll see you in the next one.